going? Hey guys, what's going on? Sunny and Darren from Hi. Team Fitness. Welcome back to our weekly broadcast show where we just love each other so much. <laughs> <laughs> ready to kill each other. <laughs> uh, we have a great show for you tonight, you guys. Um, so we want to talk to you tonight about, well, first of all, I like to always open with a movie review. Do you have any movies to review from yeah. last week? Other than Avengers. You didn't see anything? No. All right. So I guess if you still haven't seen Avengers Endgame, we are rec strongly recommending you go see that if you're into that movie universe. Let's see Captain Marvel first. Um, not just that. Well, there's 21, there's 20, other, like 21 movies. 21 other, other movies. You got to go see before that. So you're only robbing yourself the experience if you don't, so, don't go see all of them. But a thon <laughs> But a thon <laughs> But make sure you see Doctor Strange. That's a, my recommendation. Right? Mm-hmm. Which is hilarious because that's actually the name of our dentist. <laughs> For real. <laughs> For real. We're not kidding. His name's Doctor Strange. <laughs> He's amazing. He actually has a cutout of, of the the cartoon or character Doctor Strange in his lobby here in Washington. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. So it's like a little fun thing. Okay, so what else? Um, so that was what was your review. So this week we were we wanted to talk to you guys about um, supplements and hydration, right? Okay. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Start somewhere. Okay, so um, the the idea behind this today's episode is that uh, Darren is a cyclist and he's always out there cycling on the roads for hours at a time and he's got a really big take on hydration that I normally would would not as someone who normally stays in and doesn't do as much cardio stuff out in the sun as you mm -hmm. so why don't you tell us all a little bit about hydration <laughs> well, as a cycle from a cyclist point of view I'm like what do you take with you more you cycling more is better uh, you can usually right. count on, you know, one 21 ounce bottle per hour. You know, for how long you're going to be out there? Two hour ride, two 21 ounce bottles, three hour ride, three 21 ounce bottles. Uh, four hour ride, four, four 21. 21. Wow. Or I'm you have to catch it on to this. <laughs> or you, you stop at a convenience store and get a bottle of water. <laughs> but, okay, then, so we, okay, go ahead. No, I'm saying, and, you know, you, you don't want to just drink straight water all the time. You want, have something like noon, uh, Cytal Max, Powerade to uh, help with. Uh, you got any noon? Yeah, I do. Help with uh, replace electrolytes and salts that you're going to be sweating away, especially when it's hot weather. You know, it's going to be going to be 80 here pretty soon, so you have to uh, be sure to hydrate properly. So, if you guys have never heard of Noon, I think they're a Seattle-based company. Um, their this is what their tubes look like. They are. Okay, that was upside down. Um, you can find these actually in Rite Aid, Safeways, Fred Meyers. They've got pretty, you know, uh, Walgreens. They really expanded out there. REI, um, any kind of uh, vitamin, shop. vitamin shops. Um, but they, looks like I, I ate half of one. But these are they, these little uh, dissolvable, ta I ate half of one. But it's a dissolvable tablet. You drop it in your water, which I just got a brand new one. So we'll just drop it in there. And it, you let it fizz off the bottom for a few minutes and uh, it's um, electrolytes and it tells you right on the bottle like how much per you know container of water and what we like about them is you know we've taken these out uh, you know if you go camping or if you're out hiking on a day hike um, hi Angela thank you for tuning in with us we got our peeps Angela on the line yeah so we have um, so this one is berry flavored I believe uh, that's my personal favorite. I like that one. But they've got, uh, I think, about 15 or 20 flavors. And what you need to know about them is they come in regular and they have caffeinated. Mm -hmm. So you want to be careful. Uh, not careful, but like just be conscious when you're picking your flavor. Which, you want a buzz or you just want some? <laughs> yeah, if you accidentally pick one with caffeine and you're just drinking one at your desk and then you're ah, <laughs> you're going to know. <laughs> you might not know why. <laughs> that's because some of these have caffeine in them. So um you know, caffeine is a popular supplement for people when they are working out. Mm, but you have to be sure to drink plenty of water if you're taking caffeine because it is a diuretic and you will sweat more. So, so just you, you got to be careful. The general principle of caffeine is that it, um, I believe, it constricts your arteries and or widens them and gets constricts. you constricts your arteries and gives you speeds up your heart and gives you more blood flow. So, 
Um, you can see why that would be helpful if you were working out, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Correct. That sounds about right. Sounds right. It just sounds yeah, right. it helps your body metabolize fat. Yeah, get rid of the fat. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but these run anywhere from if they're on sale, you can get them for as low as a dollar seventy-five. When they're not on sale, they're all the way up to six, eight, nine dollars per tube. But you can also get them also on, of course, Amazon. Amazon. They have them, everything. You, yeah, they have everything. So you can get uh, case packs of them also, and you also get them in uh, different flavor packs. So and there's like eleven tablets per tube. Is there eleven? Something like that, or is it six? No, that would require glasses. Let's take a look. So if you're but if you're like me and you always you know snap them in half or in quarters, then um, you know a tube lasts a pretty long time. Let's see. So it says, yeah, add one full fizzy thingy to one sixteen fluid ounce of water. Yeah, one tablet. One to tablet. A bottle of water. And it's it's only got like let's see. Lord, who can read that? Let's see. Does it have to say? Boy, this this. Writing is so tiny on here. I, mm -hmm. I dare anybody to read that. I don't know. Um, yeah. Well. But anyway, there's like one six, cell. <laughs> there's two, a, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Somewhere around eight, so like nine, that. ten. Well, probably somewhere ten. In there, probably ten. tablets. Per, probably ten tablets per, per tube. Tube, yeah. Um. So anyway, so that's um uh, one thing that um. Now let's talk about Gatorade because I've heard a lot about Gatorade not being necessarily good for you for hydration. Uh, is that true still? And it's not the best. I mean, there are better things. Noon is better. Cytomax is better. I mean, Gatorade was just the original. So Gatorade was originally, I believe, it was developed at the front by the Florida Gators by yep. the football team, University right? University of Florida to stay hydrated. That's where it got its name. And what happened was, is the formula at the time I think had too much sugar in it like it was good mm. for the players because they were drinking sugar during the game and they performed better but then over time i mean if you check the bottle they might have, i'm sure they changed the formula over time but i typically tend to only drink gatorade if i'm ill and i like that's the only time you'll catch me drinking it not that it's necessarily bad but i've heard like rumors that if you drink it when you're dehydrated it's actually worse for you so well, i mean i don't know why it's there's like a lot that. of sugar it gets if it's warm it gets syrupy if you're drinking it straight yeah so, so yeah, if but you're, if you're dehydrated, if you're like, if you're throwing up sick, which is, you know, once every three years, I mean, then you'll always find me wrapped around a bottle of lemon lime <laughs> every time or orange. I don't know. I'm not saying don't drink it. I'm just saying just be careful. Just watch the sugar level on the back mm -hmm. and make sure it's something that you can, you know, digest. Yeah, I say, you know, there are Cytomax, uh, I said noon. I mean, there's others out there that I think are, are better than Gatorade. Okay, so when you before you go on a, before you go on like a two or three hour ride. Now this is interesting. So when we travel for him to, um, he goes to like these longer bike races. I'm always packing all these weird supplements into his bag. So another um, kind of supplement that's not a drink, but it's a supplement for him. And I I eat them too when I want when I'm snacking along. Right. Mm. Uh, I don't have any with us, but they're called shot blocks. You guys have seen those? There's a little tube of them about this long, and there's like six. They're called, um, they're the, these little gummy blocks, mm -hmm. and they are produced by Cliff Bar, right? Well, Cliff makes them, and there's a couple others out there now. Yeah. Do you have any? Do we have any? No. What about in the closet back there? No. no? Okay. Well, the, the Cliff Bar, they're pretty good. They're just little gummy chews, and again, some of them have caffeine, and some of them don't. So be aware of that when you're buying them. My favorite flavors are black cherry and then um, strawberry. Strawberry is really good. And citrus, orange, citrus black whatever. cherry, and orange is good. Yeah. So, um, but so if we go to a bike race, we go, we stop by REI usually, we scoop up a bunch of the shop blocks because they're good for him. If he's cycling, he can reach into his pack, right? And you yeah. pull them out and reach in your, and they, they carry well. You know, they don't get, they don't melt when it gets hot, they don't so, get sticky. So specifically for the cyclists, because they don't pull over and stop. So they have to maintain their energy while they're riding, right? That's, yep. that's the what happens. So, mm -hmm. um, so no timeouts in a bike race. No timeouts for him. So he has to figure out a way to consume more calories. And, and that's why they drink their water and you know, they chuck Fill it. Fill the water <laughs> away. That's if, you know, if you're you know, on TV. And, 
Um, You're being handed water bottles by the team car. Yeah. So somebody's we always load up his bag full of all this stuff. So another one of the supplements he has are these little um, was it goo? Goo ball. Yeah, goo shots. Cliff makes them. Goo. Goo yeah. is the original. Yeah, it's called G U. Um, and they're these little Powder bar little makes packets them. of energy. So they're just like these concoctions of what's in them. I don't even know. It's sugar mainly. Probably he has sugar. So if he's because some of these races he cycles in, he's gone for like nine hours at a time. So um, so if you're in a race and you're getting ready to go up a hill, you know, you might want to take a shot of, you know, your caffeine stuff because um, you don't want to tap out your energy when you're working out. So you might need an extra hit of. I mean, I don't know how it works exactly. Well, because, you just want to avoid the bonk. What does that mean? That's when you run out of sugar and you just. You stop. peter out. Yeah. So you probably wouldn't notice that like on a. In, in our beach body, we've got a supplement, which I don't have any at the moment, but we have a supplement that um, we have, we take, it's called energize and we take it right before we work out and it's got caffeine in it and it gets and you B vitamins and some other stuff. Yeah. And it gets you like ready to work out and you feel really great about being able to push through your workout. And that's designed for a 35 to 45 minute workout. But, but what you're talking about is content. You have to continually spike your, uh, you're not spiking. You're just trying to, Keep your sugar levels up from from dipping. Well, that's spiking, isn't it? Well, no, you don't because you don't want to up and then down. You don't want to crack. So, but you have to eat how often when you're on uh, the bike? Oh, you're eating something. You're much, you know, every 15, 20 minutes, you eat a little bit of something. Yeah. So every twenty minutes, he has to reach into his bag and eat more food. So uh, we've also picked up um, Cliff, the regular Cliff bars. Cliff bars. So yeah. those are so when you guys are in, in the aisle and you're might be confused by what bars to buy. Like the Cliff bars are actually, if you flip them over, there's a lot of carbs in them, and they're designed for people who are outdoors in burning carbs. So I believe the owners from Denver or something, and they were probably that's why they were designed was to hiking. For the, yeah, the the guy who designed mm -hmm. them is for you know for people who like to hike. That needed a way to maintain their calories and stuff yeah, while they're it's a compact source of, of energy. Okay, so what about protein? While we're if we're going on a day hike, what should we uh, take with us? You want to have a little bit of protein because it helps the carbohydrates digest better and be absorbed better. And conversely, when you're recovering, you want to have some carbohydrates with your protein because they work together to help uh, to. Uh, so would beef jerky, would that actually... Jerky is good for you. Would that be okay? Yeah, or is it too, much, too many nitrates? Well, you want to get good beef jerky, not cheap stuff. Yeah, you can get all natural beef jerky without the nitrates, but... Or make your own. Or turkey jerky. I know you had that before. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, turkey jerky. No, there is. You make your own. Well, how often do we make our own jerky? Well, now we like, have a Traeger, we can. Like, we never make our own... He's he's painting a picture that doesn't exist, you guys. That's a well, life that we don't. Well, have. I said, you, <laughs> said you could make your own. You could, but you're, okay. Okay, so if you're so inclined, you know how to do it. Go make your own. Otherwise, just go spend three dollars at the dollar no. at the, the, the corner don't, store. Don't look, <laughs> go to some place where they sell so quality. Like Costco. Costco, REI. Yeah, yeah, REI. REI has anything, all the good stuff too. If you're if you need it. So what did we take for proteins other than that? And there's a little bit of protein in the Cliff Bars, and it, you, when you're working out, you don't want too much protein because it's hard to digest. You just want just a little bit to, with your carbs to help the carbs be, you know, effectively used. And you worry about the protein when you get back. So I know we did a day hike once, and we stopped at Subway mm -hmm. before we went up the climb. Yeah, I mean, you know. I was eating my sandwich in the parking lot before we left. <laughs> Turkey Tom is okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, that's what does that mean? No, that's uh, the other one, uh, the other sub place. I don't know what you mean. Uh, the one you don't want to go to. It, okay, I don't know what that means. You know, the one that's, oh, never mind. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so what else? So you get your little the fanny pack thing, right? So you've got your goo, your shot blocks. What else? What else goes in there? Your noon. Noon. Your water. Sunscreen. Oh, it's got lots of sunscreen. Sunscreen, especially if you're going uh, camping or I would say camping. Um, Anywhere on the sun. Mm -hmm. What's this? What's the SPF that you get? At least fifteen. You know, anything less than 15, you're not really doing anything. And 
you know, unless you're going high altitude, you don't need anything more than like 30 usually. Okay. Okay. What else goes in your bag? What other kind of prep? That's about it. Really? I feel like there's more. We bought you some stickers too, didn't we? No, uh, no. Some good old fashioned just candy bars. Oh, peanut they, M&Ms. They, yeah. No, we did too. I know we did. Any, know any, any kind of candy bar doesn't help. <laughs> Fig Newtons are good. They pack well. They are good. My approve. Mm -hmm. Oh, you meant for you. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's during your during your uh, eight hour workout. So when you're done, when you're done with your eight hour workout and you come back, what and you, and you shower and you clean up, what is the best thing you can eat for post recovery? Is it just all mm. carbs? No, I it, say you want you it. Supposed, so remember, we talked to Vern, our friend Vern Tejas, the international uh, mountain climbing expert. Um, when he comes off a climb, he eats carbs. <laughs> no, he eats anything. He eats <laughs> big bowl of <laughs> When I put anything in front of it, he'll eat it. <laughs> but what do you do after? I mean, usually we order a pizza, but like what? But not always. Are you supposed mm -hmm. to have after a nine-hour cycling event? Are you supposed to eat steak or no, you want more carbs or what? Uh, you definitely want to have uh, protein, a good clean source of protein, like. Chicken or turkey, pork, salmon, something that's low in fat. You know, steak is great, but you know they're not pretty high in fat. But you want you know good clean, like say chicken, and then you know some pasta or whatever. I mean, and kind of go light on the sauce, like chicken sauce, barbecue sauce. No, like you know. Or do you mean don't, alcohol sauce? No, you don't. You don't want a heavy uh, like marinara or you know. Real oh, sauce. pasta sauce. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you use that word interchangeably. Mm -hmm. Who knows what you mean? It's a different kind of sauce. Different kind of sauce. Who knew? I didn't know. <clears throat> Let's see what else. And then for post recovery the next day, anything recommended? So, what do you take for soreness of your muscles the next day? Nothing. You just deal with it. Ibuprofen. Other people take ibuprofen. <laughs> Don't, you start doing an, an ice shower though, right? Yeah, cold shower therapy that helps. I haven't worked my way up to that yet. So if you guys <clears throat> haven't seen the cold uh, the cold therapy shower or whatever they call cold shower therapy, yeah, that um, that's where you turn your <laughs> shower onto really really cold, and then you jump in there in the name of health science, <laughs> and you you, you shock you shock your body at the colder temperature, and it it actually forces your big surprise forces your heart to work harder. Enforces more blood flow to the extremities, and it's supposed to be like it's a healthy. And, yeah, and it helps. You know, your muscles contract, so it squeezes. You know, any uh, byproducts from the workout uh, back into the bloodstream, so they can be you know buffered. In the meantime, you're screaming in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> you're, you're shivering. <laughs> you come out, and your lips are blue. But other than that, it's great. <laughs> no, it's actually why the is it the Norwegians or the Swedes. I don't want to offend you. Mm -hmm. I think it was the Swedes that would jump into the lakes all the time. And Paul. It's a Scandinavian thing. Okay. Well, he's Norwegian, so let's not offend mm -hmm. the Norwegian and with about the Swedes. So <laughs> can't have that. Right? Nope. All right, okay. That was fighting words. That was fighting words. Okay. <laughs> let's see. In other news, we're going to see what else. No. We're going to bathe our cat this week. That'll be exciting. Can't wait for that. <laughs> I could do a whole segment on how to wash my cat in the shower. So <laughs> he's this big and it takes a lot of work. But he really likes the blowout when we're done with the, the hair dryer. The hair dryer. He's ha oh, oh. ha. <laughs> Worship me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Let's see what else. What else do we have? We had something else for the kids at home who are enjoying our show. Oh, I know. I wanted to say, um, so last week I talked about this for this week that if anybody, um, we have a new resource that we created and we might have some new viewers on the call tonight, but we were, we created a, a, it's like a 16 page resource. It's 17 keto recipes, um, that are for desserts. So if you've always wanted a, a ketogenic, um, dessert recipes, we've got the PDF guide. I will drop the link down into the uh, description down below in the show notes. 
So whether you're catching us back on on uh, Facebook or over on YouTube after the show, either way, I'll put the link down there so you can opt in and uh, pick up your copy of that. So we have that made for viewers. There's some really great recipes on there it's for for, for it made, made me hungry every time I look at it. Mm -hmm. Did you look at it? Not Say yet. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, I did. Yes. It was very well done. Well, some of them are like macaroons and and uh, puddings and things that look they look really good. Mm -hmm. Pudding. Pudding. <laughs> Bread pudding. <laughs> so you started cycling again this week. So where do you go when you cycle around here? And how long have you gone? Uh, I mean, a couple hours. I mean, it just depends what I want to do. So it's hills or flats or something in between. So how do you plan your workout? I don't. So what would make you do a flat surface versus hills? Uh, I can't lift my legs. What? I can't ride. <laughs> <laughs> I need a break. Active recovery, that's what they call it. So when you leave the house and you're on your bike, mm -hmm. a little ding ding, how do you tricycle? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. How do you know what kind of workout you're going to have? Do you plan it? No. Do other people plan it? Yes. Okay, what do they plan for when they're gone? Well, it depends on what you're training for. Like, know? what is a good workout for cyclists? Is it an hour? Is it 20 minutes? It Depends on what. Okay, well, that's the end of that. You guys, that are. was so much information in this head. We can't get any of it out. Oh, if you want I apologize. To, if you're training for a central mm -hmm. ride, it's different than if you're training for a criterium. So if you're confused about what to do if you're a cyclist, just look it up on the internet. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> find a cycling channel. Well, I say it depends. On, you know, let me know what your goals are, and I'll let you know what you should do. Because <laughs> you also have a. A stationary bike back there. Indoor trainer. Tell everybody what nation you're a part of also. What, Sufferlandria? Yes, Sufferlandria. Mm -hmm. So Darren subscribes to a uh, fake, what is it? I don't even well, know how to describe it. It's a, it's a company that started there in Australia called Sufferfest, and they produce indoor uh, training videos for cyclists. And they just created a mythical, you know, land or you know, around a mythical world for cyclists called Sufferlandria. <laughs> yeah. So, because they 